suspense. Come in yet? Hmm? Yes, this is secretary. I'm Betty Marshall. Of course. Yes, I'll tell him when he gets here. Check. What was that? A fellow by the name of Drew Hack. Been in once, called twice. Very anxious to see you. You know, if you get in this office early some morning, maybe you'd catch some of these calls. Uh, things are slow, huh? You can say that again. Ah, uh, well, Betty, you ought to get yourself a real job with money. Uh-uh. I'd rather stay here and work for you. I don't know. I, I guess it's the mother in me who'll tell you to wear your rubbers. Oh, uh, well, all we need is another a crime, crime wave. Yeah. Why don't you get this Drew Hack party back, huh? Uh, no phone. Oh, but he left his address. Once you should see him. And Sam, a retainer. Wow, he means business. Twenty dollars. Didn't look as if he could afford that. Well, if it's green and it falls, we ought to argue. Tony Druhack, 65 Pacific Street. Pacific Street? Where is that? Well, that's in the foreign section. Little Serbia, they call it. It's a dead end down near the river. What do you look like? Mm, let's see now. Height and weight medium. Hand-me-down suit. Some kind of a workman, and a guy with something on his mind, definitely. Well, you hold the fort. I'll go down and see what he wants. Oh, well, Sam. Be careful crossing streets, huh? You Don't kill speak me, to strangers. That's what I mean. Let's keep it in the family, huh? <laughs> Somebody? Uh, Drew Hack. Tony Drew Hack? Oh, sure. Tony Drew Hack. Keep right on going, you can't miss. I thought this was Little Serbia. That's right. Little Serbia it is, 100%. What's an Irishman doing here? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's me. Mamie Kelly. <laughs> yes. I must have got left behind. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> Mine, Nana. In there. Is the true hack? Anybody home? I'm looking for Tony Drew. Hey, true hack, wake up. It's Craig. You said. Never gonna wake up. You find Tony? Yeah. Yeah, I find Tony. Is there any trouble? Look, lady, why don't you go back to your place? What is it? Is there any trouble for Tony? There's plenty of trouble for Tony. There on the couch with a broken neck. 
He said it would be trouble. He should have left things alone. Be quiet, Anna. What things? You know C.W. Roberts? You ever hear of him? No, I don't know. We don't know nothing. And we don't know you, mister. What are you doing here? Hold your horses. Drew Axe sent for me. I'm Sam Craig, private detective. What do you want to see you for? Yes. What would my friend Tony Druhack want with a private detective? Prince Peter. Tony. Tony's lying there. <laughs> what, Anna? Max? He is dead. <laughs> Terrible thing. What happened? Murder is the word generally used. It's a police matter, Prince Peter. Just what are you prince of? Uh, it's only a courtesy. I'm Peter Strogovich of a very old family and a friend of all the people in Little Serbia. Well, maybe you've heard of C.W. Roberts. Tony oh, wrote it down. You know where I could find him? Why should you be interested, Mr. Craig? In Little Serbia, we keep our troubles to ourselves. Drew Hack paid me a retainer and he's got $20 worth coming. Anyway, I don't like to see my clients get killed. It's bad for business. Now, where can I find him? I cannot tell you. What do you mean you cannot tell me? You know him, don't you? I know of him, Mr. Craig. Everyone in Little Serbia knows of C.W. Roberts, but no one has ever seen him. to live forever. They uh, took him away, huh? Yep. In the basket. What'd the cops say about you? Do I look like somebody who goes around snapping people's necks? <laughs> Do you know uh, C.W. Roberts? Not from a load of coal. Why? Oh, I got a couple of $64 questions I want to ask him. Who's this joke of Prince Peter? You don't think he done it? Private eye at work, huh? My holster showing? <laughs> Lord love you, mister. I may be dumb, but I ain't gone blind yet. Hey, Mamie. Yeah? How about a couple of coats you have? All right, boys. I don't want to talk to you. You want to find out who killed Tony Drew, Hack, don't you? All right. Come in here, please. Look, now, Tony was in a jam. What about? It was about money. What do you mean, money? He, he owed it to somebody. Fifty dollars. Maybe fifty dollars don't seem much to you, but with poor people. I know, sister. See, Mr. Craig, in little Serbia, most all owe money. There's so many needs, rent, milk for babies. Max, my husband and I, we owe $86, two years now. Well, can't you pay it back? Yes, but there's the interest. Three dollars a week we pay, with interest. Three dollars a week for two years? Well, don't you know, that's usury, it's illegal. What can we do? We would starve. Where do you borrow this money? Who lends it to you? C.W. Roberts. What? That's why for Tony I was afraid. He said this man had us all like flies. He wasn't going to pay anymore. He was going to the police. But he didn't know who was this Roberts. Nobody knows. And then, I think, he found out. And Roberts killed him. Somebody. That's a nice racket. Well, if you don't know Roberts, how do you get the money? Well, Prince Peter, our friend, he tries to help us. He's how do you say, a go-between? A go-between. Does he know Roberts? We only send him the letters, ask him. He mails them, how do you say, a general delivery. Yeah, general Can delivery. we get the letter back with the money? <laughs> Mr. Craig, I know that's why Tony was killed. He found out this man. And, and a warning to anybody else who owes money. Please, you must be careful. He has eyes everywhere. Anna! 
You talk too much. I had to, Max. Poor Tony. Get out. We don't want you here. Okay, Quillick, okay. How do I know you're not this, Roberts? You don't! down record, Betty. This Roberts Joker is something that comes out of a wall. So, what's it your business, Craig? Well, A, we owe poor Drusak something on account. B, a ghoul like Roberts just makes my stomach turn over. Those poor suckers down there have a tough enough time as it is. Okay, Sir Galahad. Now tell me, what's the routine with this book? Do you think it's a little advanced for me? <laughs> well... You always like pictures. Look, address it to C.W. Roberts. Roberts? Yeah. C.W. Roberts. General delivery. Delivery. City. City. Right. Okay. Now tell Mama. I'll mail it. Then you plant yourself down at the post office and watch who gets it. Now, will Letty admits. Magazines should see hundreds. Yes, but Mother Goose and Ribbons will glow in the dark, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Then what do I do, grab him and yell? You don't do anything. You come back here and wait for a call. Or give me a buzz down at the candy store I told you about. M. Kelly, proprietor, remember? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? I'm going down and take a look at Tony Drusak's room again. Sam. Sam, don't forget to wear your rubbers, will you? Your nice big fat gun. Oh, I am loaded, honey. And if I bump into Roberts, I won't need a gun. <laughs> Hello. Who? Prince Peter? No, he isn't in, but I'm expecting King George for tea. How many times must I warn you, Mr. Cragg? We don't like strangers here. And I don't like murders, especially when it's one of my clients. Yes, poor Tony. He was headstrong. Uh, Mr. Cragg, I have a message for you. From who? C.W. Roberts. Oh, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Cragg. Money lending is a bad business, hmm? Money lending? Why, this Roberts is a bloodsucker. Where else can little people get money when they need it? They have no security. Nevertheless, he sent me a message for you. He sent it to you, did he? Don't you ever get curious to see him? <laughs> Curiosity, Mr. Cragg, sometimes kills more than a cat. The message that came to me was that you drop your investigation and leave us to ourselves. And if I don't? Then I really doubt very much if you'll get away from little Serbia in good health. Well, I'm not going to drop it. Don't attempt to leave the room, Mr. Craig. Are you going to try to stop him? Oh, no. No, not I. That wouldn't be necessary. What do you mean? You see, word has somehow got around that you killed Tony Druhack. The people here are slow to anger, Mr. Craig. You couldn't possibly get away unless I showed you. Why, you'd be like a rat in a trap. You see, Mr. Cragg, our friend Roberts has a long arm. Have you decided to do as you were asked? Drop 
the investigation. No soap, your highness. You're foolish, Mr. Craig. And headstrong, too. You'll never get out of Pacific Street. Somebody's got no right to try. I have an idea it's going to be C.W. Roberts. Been a telephone call for me? Now, why should there be a phone call for you? Well, I left word that somebody could get me here. Well, they'd have a fine time getting you here. Why not? Because there's no phone. Anytime I want anybody, I just stick my head out the door and shout. Oh, brother. Some lady I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Well, she's probably forgot all about you. Never trust a woman. Sure you never heard of C.W. Roberts? Didn't you ask me that before? Yeah. Can't say as I have. If I did, it slipped my mind entirely. Look, isn't there some way out of this dead end? I mean, through a building or some basement somewhere? Mister, there's no way out of this street except in what you see. It's just got two ends the way the good Lord meant it to have. <laughs> Baby. Huh? Have you seen him? Seen who? The one that's saying killed Tony Druhack. Why, yes, I... <laughs> Glory be, he's gone. Who's gone? The very man you were talking about, he was standing here just a minute ago. Come on, he's outside. Come on, he take him away. Crazy, they think I killed Drew Hack. Lord love you, the man's all out of breath. Where can I stash myself till I can figure a way out of this? Right here. Nobody comes in here unless I want him to. Besides, where else could you go? Sister, you got me. Sure. I guess I have. Well, you just sat there till they get through chasing their tails. They'll soon get wore down. What I can't figure out is how this whole thing started. I never saw Drew Hack until I found him with a broken neck. Well, you know how sometimes things like that get started. Only it ain't often anybody finishes him. I tried to get you on the phone, but there wasn't oh, one. So this is the young lady you were expecting the telephone call from, oh. huh? My, ain't we cozy. Sam. You know that nursery rhyme book I've, I've been looking for? I waited and waited. There was. I think we're getting lucky. Luck, Betty. Mother Goose. Oh, yes, so it is. Just what we wanted. Just exactly, Sam. And you say you never heard of C.W. Roberts. I told you that before, didn't I? That book. You got it at the post office this afternoon. I mailed it to you myself. C.W. Roberts, general delivery. Well, now, wasn't that nice here? Yeah. You're this joker, Roberts, the moneylender. And donuts will get you dollars that you broke Donny Druhack's neck. Look, stand still, mister. Open the door, Makushla. Open it, or I'll drill a pretty hole for your gentleman friend here. Hey, Krennic! Yeah! Rudy! Yeah! Come in here! Garrow! What's 
Uh, Frank Collin, all of you, come in here. What is this, Sam? It's the neighbors, Makushla. They still think your boyfriend here killed Tony Druhack. No, Sam! Hey, hey, what is it? What did you yell? Did you see him? Did I see him? I got him. Come on. Oh. It's him with some fancy tale about me being the murderer and Mr. Roberts. It's no fancy tale. That's what you say. Just a minute, Frank. Oh. C.W. Roberts. I owe you $64, John Griffo. That's me. C.W. Roberts. I owe you $50, Max Credit. That's mine, me and my men. Oh, wait a minute. Who's Frank Parlin? I am. I owe you $34, Frank Parlin. Look at that. From Roberts, I borrowed $34. C.W. Roberts. I owe you $50. Tony no. Drew. No, no, it's a minute. I got there because they're yours, that's how. General delivery, Miss Roberts. Well, we're going to get you a brand new address. All right, Krennic. Call the cops. I'm going to write a book about Papa Goose. Me. <laughs> you killed Sam. Why, too? I'd have to do with nine times. Why, you 